Hadestown's Tony Award-winning score is truly worth the hype. And the band not only plays it, but feels like another character in the show. I'm headed inside the Walter Kerr to go catch up with one of the astounding members of the Hadestown band. So we're here on the set, literally within an hour of curtain, with the guitarist here at Hadestown, Alusha Tsunatse. Thank you so much for the time today. My pleasure. So I, I gotta say, we're you know we're inches away from where you sit throughout the entire show. What is it like being such a pivotal part? You know, you're not in a pit. You're not isolated. You're here playing guitar on the stage. I love being able to see the cast as I'm playing and look out uh, across the stage to all the other musicians and see the audience. The set itself is a bar, yeah. more or less. So I feel like I'm playing in a bar band <laughs> in front of you know a thousand people. How do you go about mixing? You know, you, you don't have the conductor, you aren't all there in the pit. You know, how do you go about making sure everyone's together, making sure the levels are great and everything when you're here on the stage in the action? The piano player is also uh, works as the conductor and he's got a little camera on him and everybody can see him from the stage and all around. But we also have these in-ear monitors that we can ride the volume of all the musicians, the singers, even the audience level we can ride as, we, as we're playing so we can hear everything. Music is such an integral part of this show, you know, because Orpheus is a musician itself. You actually help coach the Orpheuses, Orphei, I don't even know how to say the plural of that, when they play the guitar. What is that process like, you know, taking a, maybe a singer who's never played before and kind of coaching them up to, to be this Greek musician? I, I've been teaching for a really long time. I've had students since, you know, I, I was in college, actually, since I first started, you know, being a professional musician early on. I was, I've always had students, so. And uh, I've gotten to teach some of the Orpheuses that uh, have done the tour, mm -hmm. the understudies here. Um, there's a, it's, it's just, it's, it's always been really interesting and, and, and uh, just, yeah, pure pleasure to, to work with them. Are there any moments that, you know, you get caught up in, in the musical, in the, in the magic of Orpheus that you, you know, it, it's almost hard to maintain the band, or is it is it all business as usual? Of course, there's always a, a, a elements of surprise. So I, I have to <laughs> live keep, theater. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You have to keep keep a lookout for it. things. There's always something that can come up, and that's very exciting. And and I sort of welcome it at this point. Listening is is the key for me to be able to play, play the show well. You know, I have to be in tune with what, the, especially the drummer. Drummer, bass player, piano player, these the that's the rhythm section that I'm part of. So I have to be totally locked into their how they're feeling the rhythm. And at this point I've done it over 500 times or something like that, but it's still like every single time you have to give it your all to, to make it sound good. So obviously we're here, we're on a Broadway stage, you're in your first Broadway show, but I gotta ask you, what does Broadway mean to you? I'm somewhat new to the Broadway world, but this sense of community here, uh, it's kind of like going to camp, you know, being at work. It, it, there's, there's the love between every, every, all the different people that work here, in the cast, in the, in the, in the band, in the crew, people front of house, back of house, there's, there's such an uh, overwhelming sense of community, and not to mention, the audiences that come every every to every show, so it's a, it's been a, a a very lovely experience for me to to be part of this family. Mm -hmm. 